hello welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl rachel nicole and i know it's been quite some time i understand but today i'm with you with a delicious banana and almond butter protein smoothie from trader joe's and these are so good but anywho in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some tips and refreshers on what you guys need to prepare for for your next QA interview. So, I'm going to give you a few seconds to grab your snacks, tea, and I'd appreciate it if you like this video before we get rolling. All right, so one of the first things that you want to refresh before going into your next QA interview is knowing the difference between Agile and Scrum. You want to understand the differences between them. You want to understand the different Scrum ceremonies, the importance of working in Agile environments as well. The next thing that you want to prepare for, so you want to make yourself more familiar with popular tests such as functional testing, regression, smoke, sanity, acceptance testing, white box testing, and black box testing. Out of all the interviews that I've been having recently for QA roles, that's probably the most like common testing concepts or questions they'll be asking you about. Another thing that you want to make yourself familiar with, or you just want to refresh on of course, is knowing your CI or CD tool. So that means continuous integration or continuous delivery. So some popular tools, you could use like Jenkins, something like that. There's a whole bunch of different things like Maven, TestNG, oh, there's a whole bunch of different frameworks you could use for it. So you wanna make sure that you know some of it or like you have working knowledge where if you have projects working with these tools, get yourself ready to talk about these to the interviewer. Another thing that you want to touch up on is learning about your test management about your test management tools. So my favorite tool is Jira, hands down. I've been using it in my internships and I think it is a very useful business tool to use for any company, Confluence, Elastia. You wanna make yourself familiar and understand different test management tools or defect tools so that you can track your bugs and defects. And of course, a big thing with your QA role is your object-oriented programming languages. What is the company using? Are they using Java? Are they using Python? Are they using C Sharp? You wanna make yourself, you know, a little bit, you wanna to touch up on these skills because you might have not even been using any of these programming languages recently. So you wanna make sure that if the job that you're applying for says, hey, you know, we're using C Sharp, but you, you, you've you been using like Java at your last internship. Go ahead, go touch up on your skills. You know, it's only gonna benefit you. And another big thing that employers are gonna ask you about is about the software development life cycle. Yes, you wanna know about that. You wanna understand why testing is important with that. There's also, you wanna understand like the test design, your test plans, all that fun stuff. Um, of course, you got to understand like your open source tools or just like your GitHub repos, how that's important. And for those of you who are going for the automation QA role, of course, like I said, you want to go over your automation tools and frameworks like Selenium. You want to be able to learn more about like tools like Jenkins and stuff like that, because that's all I want to benefit you, especially when you go into your next interview and the employer is going to be so shocked with all the information that you know, because you know it better than the back of your hand for real. So these are all the tips that I have for you guys to refresh off for your next QA engineer interview. And if you aren't already a part of the family yet, what are you doing? Smack that subscribe and bell notification button so that you never miss another post from me again. I'll see you next time.